I am so damn tired of trying to see it from the other side. I'm trying to discuss nuance while they paint us and our candidates with the broadest of hateful brushes. I'm tired of pretending like it's somehow reasonable to teach creationism in public schools with my tax dollars while you tell me that two same-sex people who love each other getting married somehow threatens your marriage. If you voted for Trump, I am tired of trying to see things your way while you sit in your holier-than-thou churches slash white power meetups refusing to see things mine. Did I just lump you in with white supremacists? No. You did that to yourselves. You voted for the same candidate as the KKK. You voted for a candidate endorsed by the KKK. For the rest of your life, you have to know that you voted the same way as the KKK. Does that feel good to you? Here's a hint. It really shouldn't, especially if you call yourself a Christian. I'm tired of pussyfooting around what offends your morals while couching what offends mine. Because racism and homophobia and misogyny and xenophobia offend mine. Let me say it right here. If you voted for Trump, I do think you're a racist. I do think you're homophobic. I do think you're a misogynist. Racism and homophobia and misogyny are all a spectrum and you're on it. Don't like getting painted with the broad brush of racism? Now you know what it feels like when you get told that you want to rip a baby out of a mother's womb at nine months when that's not what happens. That's never what happens. I tried to be polite, but now I just don't give a damn because let's be honest, we don't live in polite America anymore. We live in grab them by the pussy America now. So thank you for that. Being polite was exhausting. And don't come at me with how you just didn't like Hillary. This was bigger than Hillary. This wasn't your standard, I just want lower taxes and smaller government, Republican. We had Germans warning us that this guy was scary. And still you cried emails or Benghazi or that voice. And still there's been mountains of evidence proving that nothing that you think Hillary did was that big of a deal or even true. Some of the finest minds in the world have drawn you graphs and charts proving that no crimes were actually committed and you were either too dumb or too willfully ignorant to care. And if you really cared about crimes, you'd care about any of the three pending against your candidate. Take your pick. I'd start with the rape of the 13-year-old girl, but if you voted for Trump, you probably don't care much what happens to women. Doesn't matter anyway. She received so many death threats from your political peers that she dropped the charges. But ask me again why more women don't come forward. And speaking of smaller government and lower taxes, enjoy not getting mine. If Trump actually does what he says he's going to do, then your petty backward state and your small angry towns can pay for your own schools to not educate your children. I live in California, the largest economy in the United States and the sixth largest in the world. We'll be fine. But have fun affording all those children your health insurance won't pay for your birth control to prevent. I'm just kidding. You're not going to have insurance. Won't that be just great again? The truth is that for those of us on this side, there is no when all this is over. Things are just getting started. We think last Wednesday was bad. We don't know what bad is yet. This isn't something you get over. This is something you endure. We are going to face attacks on every right we fought the last 60 years to gain. The deck is so stacked against us, we may not win. The best we can hope for is gridlock. And that's just nationally. Internationally, who the fuck knows what this lunatic is going to do? And the scarier thought is that the only thing worse than this guy is the guy who's one angry tweet away from the presidency, Mike Pence, advocate for gay conversion therapy and mandatory funerals for fetuses. So now's the time you might want to see things from my side. Because if we're all going to have to be friends after this, imagine me having to be polite and respect your vote to take away my rights and freedoms and those of my friends while we fight desperately to try to hang on to them. Because that is what you did.